to another episode on projectile. Now, what is projectile? In this episode, we'll be looking at a lot of aspects. Projectile motion. Projectile motion. The projectile motion is the motion of an object. Is the motion of an object or body into the air. Into the air. Comma. Whenever you project something into the air, which subjects to only the acceleration, which subjects to only the acceleration of gravity. Now, it is the object, note, note, this is called projectile motion. So the object, the object that it projects is what is called projectile. The object that it projects is what is called what? Projectile. So take notes. And the parts at which that object pass is called trajectory. The parts at which the object that it projects pass is called trajectory. Now, under this aspect, we'll be looking at the projectile motion in two uh, aspects. Like, I'll be looking at the vertical projectile vertical projectile and at the same time I'll be looking at the what the horizontal projectile but let me talk about the vertical projectile first now whenever you are talking about the vertical projectile this is when an object is projected from the world from the from a cliff or a tower let's say this is a cliff this is a cliff or we call it Toa. So we say at the this is the top. This is the top of the Toa. And this is what? The bottom of the what? Of the Toa. Or cliff. So you should know that. Now when you now project any object from here, you should know that let's assume you project a ball. There is no how this ball can move straight forever. It should definitely what? It should definitely comes down. So once that's object comes down, let's say this is, the land, this is the ground, so once the object comes down, you know that the object will be coming with an initial velocity what? U. So U is initial velocity. And definitely, the object will, will have what? We have the final velocity as well. V velocity as well. And you know, the height of the cliff, you know, this is the height of the cliff. Or the height at which the object is what is being projected. You should know that. And you know, this is the velocity with respect to what? With respect to time. So this is the time. We we have this to be what? The time at which the what the object use in what? In air. Or to reach the what the ground. But from year to year, it's called the horizontal distance. So this is horizontal distance. Horizontal distance. But at the same time, we have the, the time used by the words, by the object to the words, to the ground. So let us see. Now another aspect is the horizontal projectile. Now the horizontal projectile is it to be from the words, from the from the ground. No, it will be projected like this. Then it will definitely come down. Now, whatever goes up, it will definitely come down. That is law of projectile. Now, when you have this, there will be a certain velocity at which the what the 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 object is what is taking. So we have a, a velocity like this. Then there will be height. The height, or let me even come here. This will be the maximum height reached by the what by the object. The height reached by the object. Then at the same time, don't forget there will be an angle here. The angle will be here, or yeah, the angle of projection will be what will be here. 
the angle at which the object is being what is being projected. So please, you have to take notes of this very well. The same thing. So let's go to the formula aspect. Now, if you are talking about the formula aspect, you have the time taking, time taking by a projector. Don't forget, I told you that it is the object that is being projected that is called what? That is called the projector. So the time taken by a projector to attain its maximum height, to attain its maximum height. So the formula is, you have the formula, the time taken to, for this to attain its maximum height is u sin theta over g. So the formula is u sin theta over g, or you use c to be equal to square root of 2h over g. So please, you have to take note of this. Then at the same time, now at the same time, don't forget, since you have the time taking t, it is a small letter t that is time taking. Then we now have the time of flight. Time of flight is capital T. Time of flight is capital T. And this is 2t. So two of these things. That's what, that means the time of flight is two of your small t is u sin theta over g. So therefore, the capital letter t will now be two u sin theta over what? Over g. So in which you have your t, you know, I said the t is time taking. Your capital T is what? Is time of flight. The time of flight. And you have your u to be what? To be initial velocity. Initial velocity. Then you have your g to be acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity. And most times we always have the value to be 9.8 to be 9.8 meter per second square. So that's most times. So that's it. Now the next thing we have the maximum height. The maximum height. The H is maximum height. And what's maximum height? The maximum height, which is H, is equal to U square sine square theta over 2G. U square sine square theta over 2G. Now, we have this with U square sine square theta over 2G. Then we have the horizontal range. Horizontal range. Or we can call it range. Range. Let me even call it range. Now, what is range? Range is R, and that is U square sine 2 theta over G. Now, range can also be known as horizontal distance. Horizontal distance. So, that shows that if you are talking about range, according to the structure I gave you here, this horizontal distance here is range. And you can also have the horizontal distance here to be also be what? To also be what? Range. So, this horizontal distance are known as what? They are known as range. So, we check this very well. So, the range formula is U square sine 2 theta over what? Over G. That's the formula. Whatever you want to project for the horizontal projection, whenever you want to project, let me check this very well. Whenever you want to project, the, the object can reach its maximum height when, whenever you have the what? You, you project it at an angle 45 years. It is easier for the object to be to reach its maximum height whenever it is projected at the angle of 45 because it's so the at the angle at which it will go it's be like this now compared to you just project it vertically so when you project so let's say that your theta is 45 so at the maximum height or let me even say at an angle 45 so the range will now be u square sine 2 times 45 over what? Over G. So if you check 2 times 45 will be 90. So your range will now be U square over what? Over G. Because sine 90 will be equal to 1. Because, you know, sine 2 times 45 
that be sine 90. Because 2 times 45 is 90. So sine 90 is what? Is 1. So that's why we have it to be u squared over what? Over g. Now if you have... If something is projected like this, now let's say you have the stuff as a velocity. I told you to so have a velocity, you know, it's projected, it definitely comes down. But there will be a velocity here. Let's say you have the velocity. And let's say the vertical component, this velocity we have the horizontal component of the velocity and the vertical component of the velocity. Now, if you observe this very well, the velocity, the V, will not be equal to... What's your V? Your V will be equal to... Let's see. Let's have it to be... You know, if, if I make another, another structure here, another structure like this, you know, this velocity will be here. So this side will also be what? The vertical velocity because... This line will also be the same according to what to this line. Now let me bring this structure. This is the theta here. This is the theta here. Let me bring this structure out. Now this structure like this. Sorry. You have this structure like this. Or let me even use beside. You have this structure like this. Now, at which you have your theta here. You have the velocity here. The velocity of the what of the horizontal and the one of the what of the vertical. So can I have it to be this? This one and this side are what are the same. Now if you check this very well, the V here, the total frequency will be equal to according to the Pythagoras theorem. Now this side will be opposite. This side of angle 90 will be what? Will be hypotenuse. And this side will be what? Will be adjacent. But according to the Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras theorem says, Pythagoras theorem says, the longest side square, and what's the longest side? This is the longest side. This will always be the longest side. The longest side square equals to the other side square. That's Vx square, then plus Vy square. That's Pythagoras theorem. That means that V will now be equal to square root of Vx square, then plus what? Plus Vy square. So that's Pythagoras theorem. And at the same time, don't forget that this theta here, where theta is facing, we have the value of the opposite and what? And adjacent. And from so katsua, from so katsua, you have the tau to be this one. This one means tan theta is equal to the second one stands for opposite and the third one stands for what? Adjacent. So that means tan theta is equal to what's the opposite here? The opposite here is, uh, you have it to be Vy, then over, the adjacent here is what is Vx. So take note of this formula, and take note of this formula. Now let's get into the calculation aspect of this quiz, of this topic. A bomber, let's say, the solution, a bomber is flying at a constant, so this is the ground, so this bomber is flying it's as a specific angle. It's flying at a constant horizontal velocity. So the velocity at which this bomber is using is 1,000 meter per watt per seconds at an elevator. So the bomber is trying to reach this place, this place of 25 kilometer, 25 kilometer. So the height of this place from here, from here to here. From the ground to the height of the elevator is 25 kilometer. And 25 kilometer is 2,000, uh, 25,000 meter. 25,000 meter. That's a towards the point directly above the what? The target. This is it. So the bomber is coming from this to the world, to this place. Now say the first question is. At what time would the bomb reach the target? So at, if the bomb is projected from here, it's coming to this. At what time will it come to this place? So the only thing we need to do is let's make use of this maximum height to calculate the question. So for the first one, we have the maximum height to be ut plus half gt square. Can I have half gt square? So and we are given the maximum height. So the maximum height is 25,000. So to be equal to 0 times t. Why are we using 0 times t here? 
The reason is because, you know, we are using the vertical component to calculate because we cannot detect the, what, the horizontal component of this and we are not given the horizontal distance. So, so it is the time at which, the time at which he used from year to year will be the same time he used from year to year. So that's the same time. So now we have it to be zero times T, then plus half of our G, we are asked to take it as 10, then our T square. Then we check this, we have 25,000, so because this one is zero. Two year one, two in five, that's, two in 10, that's five. Now have it to be five T square. T square will now be 25,000 over five. Five year one, five in 25, that will be five. That's 5,000. So you now have this to be 5,000. So T is square root of 5,000. So what was the answer? So the time you to reach the maximum height. So we have it to be square root of 5,000. Or the time reach, the time used to read towards the target. That's 70.7. 70 There's our approximately 7 points. Point what? 0.71 seconds. 70.71 seconds. That's the answer. So if you check this very well, the next question says, Next question says, we should find the horizontal distance. We are given the horizontal, this time, we are given the horizontal velocity. So the horizontal velocity to be uh, 100 meter per second. So don't forget that velocity is equal to uh, distance over time. So therefore distance, horizontal distance will be equal to velocity times time. So velocity so the velocity we use is the velocity, the horizontal velocity as well. And the horizontal velocity we are given is uh, 1,000. So times the time, which is 70 times 71. So 70 uh, 70.71, 70 the multiply by what? Multiply by 1,000. So the answer is 70,710 meter. So the horizontal, this one is horizontal distance. So the horizontal distance is 70,710, but the vertical distance is 25,000. Then the number, the, na, the, the next question. Next question says, sorry, next question says, we should find, that's the third question. The third question says, sorry, we should find the what? We should find at what angle of the site should the bomb be released? At what angle of the site should the bomb be released? That's the question. It says, at what angle of the site should the bomb be released to strike the what? The target. Now let's withdraw again. Don't forget that at this place, you have the angle here. This is the angle. This is the theta we have to find for this third question. But the horizontal, so at what angle should this be released? We can use the formula that says, this place, we have it to be 25,000. That's the in meter. That's the horizontal, and that's the vertical distance. And the horizontal distance, we've gotten it to be 70,070 meter. So I can use, I can find this X here. Or I don't even need X because I'm asked to find what the theta here. And this side will be opposite because anywhere faces the angle is the opposite. And anywhere faces the right angle here is the hypotenuse. And the third one is the what? The adjacent. So I can use tan theta. Because tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So tan theta will now be equal to the opposite is 25,000 over the adjacent, which is 70,710. So if you press this on your calculator, you should have it to be, or better still, just have it to be, Let's make theta the summary formula. Theta will now be tan inverse of 25,000 over 70,017. What is the theta? So we check this very well. So theta will now be shift tan. Let's press shift tan. We press, so let me repress it again. We have shift tan here. Let's shift tan. The fracture button, we have 25,000 and over 70,000. 17. They come here, you have it to be equal to. That's 19.47. 19.47, so that's the angle. So 19.47 degree is the angle 
at which the the bump will be what will be released so that it will reach the what the target here. So that's the answer. That's the answer. Thank you very much for this question. So now let's get to another question. The question says, an arrow is horizontally projected. So that means from a toa, yes, there must be a toa. So this is the toa. So it's been projected horizontally like this. It will definitely what comes down. You should know that. So that means, that said, with an initial velocity of what? Of 15 meter per hour per second. So it has the initial velocity of 15 meter per second. Now, so if it reaches the ground in 10 seconds, so that means the time used are in 7 seconds. The time used by that arrow is 7 seconds to reach the ground. Now, ask us to find the words, the maximum height, or the height, the height of the words of the tower here. So the height of this tower, which is H. So we want to know the height of this tower here. So how can we find the height of this tower? We can use H to be equal to UT plus half dt square. Now, if you want to find the height here, so H will now be, now I have 0 multiplied by T. Now, some people will ask me, what we are given the initial velocity to be 15. We cannot use this because you can see that the, the, the object is projected from the tower, from the top of the tower. So the velocity we are given here is horizontal velocity, not vertical. And when you are calculating the height, you use vertical velocity. The same thing applicable to the previous question that we solved. You can see that when I was trying to find the height here as well, I make my u to be zero because we are not given the words, the vertical velocity. So whenever you are using height formula, then the initial velocity will be zero because it's coming from what? From rest. So that means the initial velocity there will be zero. But yet the object was projected from the words through, vert through horizontal, not vertical. So we are not given vertical. So the vertical velocity will be zero. So that means we now have plus half of our g, we are given it to be 10. Then, don't forget, we are asked to calculate the words, the height. So we are given the time. And the time is what? 7. So we have it to be the words, 7 squared. So if we check this very well, the height will now be, this one will be 0. 2 year 1, 2 year what? 5. That will be 5 multiplied by 49. Because 7 squared will be what? Will be 49. So if we calculate this, 5 times 7... Uh, 5 times 49 will be equal to 245. So the height here is equal to 245 meter. The next question. The question is, a boy throws a ball of mass this vertically. So that means, let's say this is the ground. The boy is here, throws the ball vertically upward. The ball vertically upward. Let's say there is, there is a building here beside this. Now say it. And reach a height. So that means that ball reached the height of what? Of 40 meters from his hand before it returns to the world, to the boy's hand. That's according to the question. Now say, so how long did the ball stay in the air? So we are still using the, the formula for what? For the height, which is ut plus half. We can use gt square. Then the h here. Don't forget, the H here, you have the height, the maximum height will be 40 meter. So to be equal to, we have the U to be zero because, you know, vertical, it shows it's from, it's from rest. So it is thrown up, the multiply by T, plus half of our G to be 10, then T squared. So we have 40 to be equal to, don't forget, 0 times t will be 0. So 2 year 1, 2 year what? 5. So that's multiplied by 5 t squared. We check this very well. t squared will now be 40 over 5. So t squared will be equal to 8. So t will be equal to square root of what? 8. And the answer is 2.83 seconds. If some people are not careful, they will have picked 2.83 seconds. And the answer is not 2.83 seconds. Because the question is, how long did this stay in the air? This time we calculated is the time that the ball used from the, from the boy's hand to this maximum height. That means whatever goes up, don't forget the law, it will definitely come down. So that means the, the time that the ball stay in the air is the time of flight. So the time of flight is when it goes up and come back. So note that whatever goes up, it will definitely come down. That's the time 
of light. So time of light is 2t. So that will be 2 multiplied by your small t is 2.83. And it will give you 5.657 seconds. If you press it, 5.657 seconds. That is the time use in the world, in the air. It goes up and comes back to the world, to the boy's hand. So it goes up and comes back to the boy's hand. So that means we have 2t. 2t. The time used to the maximum height here is what we calculated here to be what? To be 2.83. And when it comes down again, it will use the same time. So that's double, which is 5.657. The next question. The question says, the body is projected from the ground. So that means it's projected from the ground like this. It comes down. But with the velocity of what? Of 30 meter per hour per second. It reaches the maximum height. So there's a maximum height. I don't know. That's it. With of okay, the maximum height is eleven point two five meter. Now ask us to find the value of theta. So to find the value of theta, we can use the word the maximum height. And the maximum height formula C since we are we are given the words, the we are asked to find the theta. So we will not use the maximum height of the motion like the Newton's law. So we'll, uh, the Newton's formula, or the let me say the formulas for motion, but we are going to use what the, the projectile maximum height, which says so I'm calculating the first one now. So h is equal to u square sine square theta over what over 2g. So once you have this, the maximum height you have is 11.25. So which will be equal to our u is 30. So 30 square, since we are using theta, so we'll be having initial velocity here. But if it is the vertical component we are we are to find, like the previous question, the u will be zero. Because sometimes, most of the time, we don't normally give we, are, we don't normally uh, give the or uh, the vertical velocity. But yeah, now 20 square. Then sine square theta all over all two times. We have to take g, but we are not given g, so let's just take. So this will be 20. So we have 11.25 to be equal to 30 square will be 900. So sine square theta all over this one will be 20 because 2 times 10 will be 20. Can you, 0 can cancel 0 here. 2 year 1, 2 year will be 45. So that means we have 45. You can even press on your calculator. We have the 900 divided by 20 will give us 45. So now, when you have this, don't forget what you have left is 11.25 to be equal to 45 sine square theta. So you can divide both sides by 45. So if we divide both sides by 45, we have 45, we have 45. So therefore, 45 here, we cancel 45 here. We will now have sine square theta. So be equal to 11.25 over 45. Then we can square it to both sides. If you square it to both sides, if you square it to both sides, then the square root here will cancel the square here. So we have sine theta to be equal to the square root of this side. So let us place this on the calculator. Square root of the fraction button 11.25 all over 45. So the answer here is 0.5. So sine theta will be equal to 0.5. Therefore, theta will now be sine inverse of 0.5. So what's sine inverse of 0.5? We press this, that will be shift sine of 0.5. So what's the answer? The answer is 30 degree. So this is projected at an angle of 30 degree. That's the first question. Now let's go to the second question. The second question says, we check this. The second question says, we should find what the time taken to strike the ground. Uh, like the question I just explained now, the time taken to, to what? To strike the ground. So don't forget that it takes a certain time to reach this maximum height. And from this maximum height down to the what? Down to the ground is another what? Is another time to use. So if you use small t to be... Uh, use sine theta over g over g i'm going to use two formulas here so let me use here if you use this t then your t will now be 
What's your U? That's 30. Then sign. We already know our what? Our theta, which is 30. Over what? Over 10. So this 10 year, 10 year will be 3. So T will now be, that will be, let's press that as 3 sine 30. Sorry. 3 sine 30. So that's our T, which is 1.5. So now I have this to be 1.5. So 1.5 seconds. But that's just the only, that's the time that is used to what? To get to this maximum height. That means if it's used from year to year to be 1.5, it's also used from year to year to be 1.5. That's why the time to reach the what? The grand will now be 2t. Two of this t. That will now be 2 into bracket 1.5, which obviously will be what? Will be 3 seconds. Or better still, use the time of flight formula straight up. So the time of flight straight up, which will be 2u sin theta over what? Over g. So or, or. So t will now be 2, what's our u? Our u is 30, then sign, what's our theta? That's 30, all over what? All over 10. So the capital T will now be, we have it there. We can have it to be, this one is 2 times 30, this 2 times 30 will be 60, sign 30. Then all over what? All over 10. We can have it to be 10 year 1, 10 year what? 6. So t is equal to 6 sine 30. So let us press T on the calculator like this. Now I have it to be 6 sine 30. So the answer is 3. So we now have it to be 3 seconds. So that is how to solve the second question. Now the third question now. The third question. The third question says that we should find the range. And what's the formula for the range? Range is equal to u squared sine 2 theta over what? Over g. Once you have this, your range will now be that as the horizontal distance. They can even say, find the horizontal distance. That's the same thing with what? With range. Provided you are given the theta. So this will be 30 square, then sine. That will be 2 times 30. Then all over what? All over 10. So the range will become, 30 square will be 900. So sine, this will be 60. All over what? All over 10. As you can see, we can say 10 year 1. 10 year what? 10 year 90. Or zero just cancel the words. So I will be 90 sine what? Sine 60. What's 90 sine 60 on the calculator? Now I have 90 sine 60. Sorry. Sorry, 90 sine 60 on the calculator will give us that's 77.94. So we have this to be 77.94 meter. So that is the answer. The next aspect. Next aspect or the next question. The question says, a missile is projected with a velocity of, let's say the solution, with a velocity, it comes like this, with a velocity of, the velocity is 250 meters per watt per second at an angle theta to the vertical, at an angle theta to the vertical. If the total time of the flight is 25 seconds, the total time of flight, that's capital T, is 25 seconds. Then we have to find the value of the word of the theta. The T would be 2U cos theta over what? Over G, that's the formula. So the time of flight is 25, which would be two multiplied by we have this to be 250. That's our U. Initial velocity is 250. Then cos theta that we are looking for. All over G, which is 10. We cross multiply. We have 250 to be equal to. You know, we cross multiply. 10 times 25 will be 250. Then 2 times 250 will be. That should be 500. Cos what? Cos theta. Then we check this. We can divide both sides by 500. Both sides by 500. So this will cancel this. Now this should be 1 over 2 to be equal to cos theta. So that means cos theta will be equal to 0 0.5. So theta will now be cos inverse of 0 0.5. And what is cos inverse of 0 0.5? You have the cos inverse, cos inverse of 0 0.5, which will be 60. So the answer is 60 degree. So this is the answer. 
If you sign here, your answer will be 30. Now why? Why are we not using sign here? The question is to the vertical. So to the vertical, the only case where I use the word, the sign, that will be the only case where I use T is equal to 2 U sine theta over G is when the statement says to the horizontal. So if it is to the horizontal, we use the sign. But if it is to the vertical, we use the word, we use the cause. So please take note. That's it. Now the question says, when you check this question, let's see. The question says a, a stone projected horizontally. Let's see. Horizontally from the top of the toa. This is the toa. So it's projected like this. And you all know that if it's projected like this, it will definitely what? Comes down. Now so it is projected horizontally from the what? From the top of the toa with a speed of 4 meter per second. So the initial velocity is taking is 4 meter per second. And that's to the world, to the horizontal, not vertical. Land on the level ground at, it's land on the level ground at the horizontal distance of 25 meter. So this horizontal distance is 25 meter. They said from the foot of the tower, that means from the base of the tower. So that means from the base of this tower to where it's land is 25 meter. They now ask us to calculate the height, the height. For us to calculate the height, that's half of u, ut plus, half gt square. Now your height will now be equal to your u will be zero times t. Don't forget the reason why it is zero is because we do this one is horizontal distance, horizontal displacement, not vertical. And this we are asked to calculate the height of the tower. And the height of the tower is talking about the vertical, not horizontal. So that's why this is not taken as our what as our initial velocity plus half of your g is 10, the multiply by, we need t. The t, we can get t because if you don't get t, there will be two values here to be unknown. Or better c, 2 square. Your h will now be, 0 times t will be 0. So we now have 2 year 1, 2 year what? 5. So the answer here is 5t square. But we can get c. How can we get our t? We are given the initial velocity. Let's even know the time that this object used to reach this ground. And don't forget that Velocity is equal to distance over time. So because what like we have vt to be equal to what s. So t will be equal to s over what over v. So that means the time that this object used to reach this ground will now be distance. What's it? What's the total distance covered horizontally? Horizontal distance is 25 meter, and horizontal velocity is also four. So t will now be that will be 25 over four. We have it to be 25. Divide by 4, the answer is 6.25. So we have this to be 6.25 seconds. So that's the time used to reach towards the ground. So now the max, the height here of the tower will now be 5 into bracket 6.25, the mod, all what, all squared. So the height will now be, we have 5 into bracket 6.25, all squared. So the answer here is 195. 0.3 meter. So the height of the tower is 195.3 watt meter. The next question. The question says a horizontal uh, a tennis ball is projected is projected horizontally. That means from a certain height is projected horizontally. So you know it to start with the velocity, then was then it the was the ground. Horizontally from the what from the height of 30 meter. So that means this height is 30 meter. The height of the building at which the the ball or the, the table tenni, uh, the tennis ball is projected is 30 meter above the ground with an initial speed. So the initial speed here is 20 meter 20 meter per second. And you can see calculate the horizontal distance. So we are asked to calculate this horizontal distance. So from here to what to what to the what to the to the point at which it it what the ground. Now we are given the height to be thirty meter. This velocity is horizontal velocity, not vertical. So we cannot use it with this height. 
we are asked to calculate the horizontal distance as well. So we are going to use the h is equals to ut plus half gt squared in order for us to calculate the value for the word for the time, the time used to get to the top, the, the time of this place will be the time, the, the time here will be the same thing to reach the word, the ground. So the height is 30, which will be equal to 0 times t plus half of our g is 10. Then we have our multiply by what t squared. Then we now have 30 to be equal to this one is 0. So 2 year 1, 2 year 1, 5. That will be 5 t squared. Now this will be divide both sides by 5. Divide both sides by 5. 5 year, 5 year will be 6. Now 6 to be what? C squared. So T will now be square root of what? 6. So T will be 1 square root of 6. We have square root of 6 will be equal to 2.45. 2.45 seconds. That's the value of T. 2.45 seconds. Now after we've gotten the value of T, can also velocity is equal to distance over time. So what are we actually find the distance? So distance will now be velocity times time. So velocity here, the horizontal velocity is 20. So multiply by the, the time use is also about 2.45. So the horizontal distance will now be 20, 20 multiplied by 2.45. And the answer is 49. So the horizontal distance here is 49 meter so that's it now listen and listen carefully now see these two questions the first question is this a particle is projected horizontally as this now say calculate the horizontal distance covered by the world by the particle before hitting the ground you are going to solve this i want to see the answer of this at the comment section now let me solve the question the second question though i've explained it in the before now like doing the explanation of the projectile but i want to make a clarification here and what the clarification is this now a body r means range don't forget r means range and whenever they ask for the maximum angle of projection maximum angle of projection the theta is 45. Listen. Maximum angle of projection. Angle, angle of projection. Your theta is what? Is 45. Now once, once theta is 45, don't forget that 2 times 45 will give us what? 90. So the maximum height, the maximum height will be obtained. The maximum height will be obtained when the theta is 90 degree. So take note. The maximum height will be obtained when the theta is 90 degree. But the maximum angle of projection is what? Is 45. But the maximum height will be obtained at what? At angle, 40, angle 90 degree. Don't forget, when you have this, this is it. I just want to make a clarification. You cannot have a maximum angle here. You cannot have it here. You can only have it here at the middle here, when you have it to be 90 degree. So at angle 90 degree, that's when you can have what? The maximum height. But if you want to project this to get the maximum angle, to get the maximum height here, if you want to project to get the maximum height, you can only project at an angle 45. That's the clarification between the two. So the, the question is, a projection, a projectile attain its maximum height when the angle of projection is what? Is when it becomes what? When it becomes 90. That's when it's reached towards the maximum height. So that's the answer. So now, let me have the answer of this at the comment section. Thank you very much. God bless you. I mean, inshallah, the blessing popular in as General David. So please, you can follow us on WhatsApp with this number. So I am General David by name. So like, comment, and subscribe for other people to know this channel. Now, this question, let me have the answer at the comment section. Is it 40 meter or 20 meter, 30 meter or 10 meter? Thank you. God bless.